This is Kimberly Munoz, and I am reading The End of the Beginning, written by Avi. And I want to thank Harcourt again for letting us read this to you. Chapter 3, in which music is introduced. Avon and Edward had gone about three inches when Edward said, Avon, what do you know about music? Oh, nothing more than a few tunes, most of which I've forgotten. Edward was concerned. In looking for adventures, he explained, one does a lot of marching. It's unheard of to have adventures without marching music. I'm glad you warned me, Edward. Perhaps you can teach me some. Delighted, said Edward. This is a very ancient marching song that has been sung in my family for thousands of years. It goes like this. March, march, golly, 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 march, march, golly, 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 march, march, oh, golly, 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 yo, oh, 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 golly, 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 yo, oh, golly, 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 oh, march, march, march. What an inspiring song, said Avon. One of the better things about it, Edward pointed out, is the fact that it can be sung from either end. I sing it from the beginning and my father sings it from the end. Can it be sung from the middle? Absolutely, said Edward. That's how my mother always does it. As you can see, we are a family of individuals. Ah, but at least you're all singing the same song, said Avon. Tune in for chapter four.